This is after I've done the active range of motion. Sit up nice and tall. So okay. Keep your arms straight out. You want both? We'll just do this one for now. So I'm going to have her hold. Don't let me move you. Good. And I'm holding for a couple seconds because I want to make her work and earn that five. I want to see if after a second if it just gives way or not. Okay. Did I earn it? You did. Good job. <laughs> right. Now That's arm exciting. out to the side. Hold. Don't let me move you. I do a straight arm here instead of a bent arm because I want to really see how strong those muscles are. If she were to have an elbow issue, then I would not. I would keep her arm bent. Okay? Arms like this, nice and tight. So the way that it'll show you in your handout is you can come behind the patient this way. Hold, don't let me move you. Press out, press in, press down, press down into my hands. But I don't feel like I get the best mechanical advantage that way. I don't know how you do it, Jason, but I come in front. So hold here. Don't let me move you. 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 Okay? And that's essentially it. Extensors, too. You can resist this way behind or even have the elbows come back. This way, hold. Don't let me move you. And resist that way.